In last week's video, we took a look at some fun Python Easter eggs, but this time around, I think I've stumbled across something pretty incredible. There has been some speculation over the course of, well, pretty much forever as to when or if a Python 4 will ever come out. And there's been a lot of evidence and a lot of things to say that it won't, but I think I found some evidence that it will. And in a way, it seems fitting because it's the first day of the fourth month. Fourth month, Python 4, maybe it's meant to be. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you what I found so far, but from there, we can only really speculate as to where it's going to go next. Of course, if you like this video at any point, then consider liking it to let me know, and maybe subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. If you're feeling particularly generous, you can become either a member or a patron using the information in the description below. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's see what all this is about. So we're here in the Python source code. This is kind of where this whole thing sort of started. I was just poking around, looking for video ideas. I've done a few things on shorts and stuff looking around here. And this future.py is actually a very interesting file for a number of reasons. So this file, for those of you that don't know, defines like certain future things um, or like future features. So uh, division is in here. So, you know, Python 2. The division operator worked differently so you could import or from future import division and you get the python 3 behavior which is why it says here so it's introduced in 2.2 and then you know from 3.0 that's when this uh, behavior became finalized and generators went through this um more recently uh type annotations went through this you can see this is now none because it's never going to happen oh that's big sad you can still do it if you want to but the one i want to talk about particularly is this one here this barriers fluffle equals feature because it came you know in version 3.1 alpha 2 but it's going to be implemented in version 4 and i thought hmm version 4 is there a version 4 in development and there are a few sources here and there that say maybe it is maybe it isn't but i recently went down a bit of a rabbit hole and i found what i think could well be like a prototype source code for python 4 or as it's called Sort of, it's got a few different names weirdly, but one of the names obviously is Python 4, um, you know, 4000. You had Python 2000 and Python 3000 for 2.0 and 3.0 respectively, so that makes sense. But it's also got another weird name, I think, maybe to mask some things. Um, I can't actually find it where I originally found it before. It's, I think it's gone or, or whatever, but I did manage to download it before that and I have uploaded it to my. Uh, file server so you can download that if you want while it's still there because I don't know um, I can't actually I'll have to zoom in on the video for this bit I think but if you go to uh, Cabra ooh, if I could spell dot xyz my own name I can't even spell it uh, slash fire no it's not that it's cool it's files dot cabra dot xyz there we go I can't even use my own website either apparently uh, slash python slash python 4000 dot zip and you can install this if you want. I already have it you know, downloaded and installed, so I'm not going to go through all that. Um, I also don't want to show like too much of the installation because it will probably be out of date by the time anything you know comes of it. But if you go to that URL address, you can then download the zip file for Python 4000. And then when you do that, you get this 4000.zip. So I'm actually going to unzip this uh, here so we can see. And you'll see this code name node. I'm not really sure why it's got a code name maybe it's just to throw people off um the 21.7 i'm not sure about either i'm i'm thinking it might be that's when this started development perhaps and 21.7 so what be seventh month july isn't it so july 2021 maybe python are looking to go calvo in the future they've actually looked at going calvo before but rejected it um i don't remember why but uh yeah perhaps they're going with that this time uh, so yeah, it's called Node in this, I don't know why, it's probably some weird code name. If you look into it and look in the source directory here, we can actually see that it's all still written in C. And that, so that, you know, that bit hasn't changed. It hasn't been rewritten in Rust or anything. Uh, there's also this crypto one, which is quite funny. I clicked on this thinking, oh my God, they've got cryptocurrency. No, it's cryptography, I think. <laughs> uh, so cryptography is actually included now. I don't think that was the case before, which is cool. There are a few other things. I haven't really looked around too much. I don't to be honest i didn't really understand a huge amount I'm, I'm not huge into c i do want to get more into c i didn't really understand the a lot of the python source code i don't really understand what's going on here maybe if someone does know a bit more then they can let me know but there's typing here there's typings and all that um so maybe they're going with a type hinting thing 
I don't know. It's it's very it's very, it's still a very alpha prototype. I'm, mm, it's it's difficult to to work out exactly what's coming in, but I thought I'd still make this video. There's also this Android patches folder, which is quite cool. Which makes me think there's going to be like oh, and this Android configure stuff down here, which makes me think there's going to be actual proper Android support coming in. I don't know if it's officially supported at the moment, but uh, I think it's a bit weird to do it sometimes. So this will make it a lot smoother, I think. And there's all this stuff around. It's quite a huge thing. So I also have this hello world.py file here that we can run. Uh, so we run it. If we actually use node for this as well. The command is node. I th again, I think it's just to sort of almost distance it from Python. So it's all a bit secret. If we do hello world.py, um, it will simply return. Happy April Fool's Day. Woo! It's April the 1st and you got fooled. Anyway, that's not that. Um, yeah, all, all this is just an elaborate April Fool's trope for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> I do I do wonder how many people got to that point and only then realised it was a joke. I imagine most people were probably probably realising when it said Node twenty one point seven, um, when it was when it was coming out, and all the stuff with TS and that and whatever. So yeah, happy April Fool's Day. This is just a fun little thing that I wanted to do. Uh, of course, Guido, uh, the creator of Python, has said on multiple occasions that Python 4 is probably never going to happen. And if it does happen, it won't happen for a very, very long time. Uh, so, yeah, chances of a, of a Python 4 coming out are, are, are very slim. I do actually want to explain um, and you know make this video somewhat educational, <laughs> the deal behind this um, 4.0.0 thing. So if we go into the code blame for the source, uh, we'll see that it was part of, if we go to this one, it was part of the April Fool's joke in 2009 that introduced the diamond inequality operator into Python under certain circumstances. Uh, so I've actually already made a video about that. So if you want to learn more about all that, then I would recommend going and watching that. But this was, you know, the, uh, the feature flag that got brought in to make that Easter egg possible. Uh, but interestingly, I only found this out today. It wasn't originally for Python 4.0. If we look at this commit, we can see that it was originally set for Python 3.9 and had to be updated to 4.0, saying it was delaying the joke of Barrier's Fluffle to Python version 4.0. Presumably because when this was created in Python version 3.1, maybe they didn't think they'd get to 3.9. And then suddenly 3.9 was you know coming out fairly soon. I'm not sure. I think this is 20... 15 it said or 2018 wow okay um yeah they saw that 3.9 was on the horizon i thought oh we need to uh we need to update that so they went with 4.0 which again will probably never happen so this barrier is fluff again will probably never happen <laughs> but this is just a fun little thing that i wanted to do i keep saying that because i'm genuinely slightly worried that a lot of people are going to dislike this but <laughs> if they do it was worth it for the memes and um yeah Happy April Fool's Day. Don't get fooled by misinformation online, especially if today, because there's a lot of it going around. Uh, to make up for it a little bit, I have got three videos rather than two videos planned uh, for this week. So that should be cool. And I'll leave you with the knowledge that if you actually do try and download that file from the file server, you might find something waiting for you after all. Let me know in the comments exactly when you tagged on to the fact that this wasn't real. I'd be genuinely curious to know when people figured it out. Uh, I'd like to say a huge thank you to my amazing patrons and members on screen now, especially Mazar Roshiman III for being so generous. If you want to see some other really cool Python Easter eggs, then watch last week's video where I covered seven of them all in one video. And I'll see you in the next one where we do whatever we do next.